Hello there Reason users, Pooh Bear here and welcome to my channel and today we're going to be looking at how we can set up some reference tracks and so we can reference it against a pre-mastered track. So quite straightforward, I pulled in uh, three reference track and I've got myself my master track. At the moment it's all set up incorrectly because obviously the master tracks are also going through the 64-bit summing bus which is going to come through to the master chain which is no good at all. So what we're actually going to use to do this with is something called Reference 5. It's a free rack extension and I'm just going to drop it in there and I'm going to hold down my shift key when I drop it. Let's just get rid of that for the second. And what we're going to do, we're going to swizzle around to the back as you do. I'm going to come over here. In fact, shall I zoom in first? Yeah, we should be able to zoom in. I'm going to take the left out and drop it out. And the reason I take the left out and drop it out, it just dewires everything. Then I, can, then I can take the left and I'm going to push it into number one. And I always use number one personally for me because I know that's always then going to be coming from the master out. I'm then going to, in fact, I'll do this now. I'm going to take the main out and I'm going to put that into my interface out. So at the moment, listen to num number one, everything's sounding the same. And these are also still going through that master bus, which we don't want. So I'm going to take that output. And as soon as I uh, take a, a direct out, I've now broken that chain. So it's no longer going through there. And I need to take that one as well. So I'll quickly take that one. I'm just going to zoom out for that last one because we've got one more down here. And we're going to plug that into there as well. Bingo. Not bad at all. So that's it kind of wired up. And actually, that should be it working out. So if I quickly flip around to the front and I can quickly hit my space bar. Now they might sound very, very similar because they're all mastered using different things and I'll talk about that a little bit later. So that is it actually working. But there's a, just a little, I'm going to say rule, but it's not a rule, it's actually a fact. So let's actually talk about that for the moment. Because I've made that break between the interface and the master out, so we had originally this master out going into here, because we've actually broken that, no longer this clipping light will actually ever work. So doesn't matter what kind of signals you're putting through it, this clipping will never come on. So my golden rule is always use the big meter. We've got ourselves a clipping, obviously make sure you're monitoring your output. And obviously if there's clipping here, you know you've definitely got clipping going out. So that doesn't matter. And by the way, if you've done something as silly as just taken that cable out of the master out and put it through a spider and straight through here, you're not affecting anything these will still not work. It's just the way it's, it, um, the logic works with inside reason because it doesn't know what you're doing with that signal. So it doesn't report it here anymore. As I said, really, this is it. You're up and running. You can off and go. But let's just say you wanted to be able to control these buttons from a controller. Now, at the moment, if I was to, let's, I can zoom in again. If I right click this and do an edit remote override, I'm going to actually hit sync on my tablet. So there we go, we've got a tablet, I'm gonna click OK. Now, when I hit that same button, you can see it scrolls through all five because they're all pointing back to the same control. So you can't set your buttons up to say jump from one to four or one to three because they just do this like round robin thing. One thing you can do, as I'm gonna give this the MIDI focus, is I've obviously got a controller and I've got a knob set up and I can use my knob again to, to, to go back and forth between them. But again, it can be awkward to jump between, especially if you want to reference them really, really quickly, to jump back and forth. So it's not the end of the world because we can use our friend, the Combinator. So I'm just going to hit F9. I've got my video and I've done two um, Combinators and they'll be in my Dropbox, link into the description of the video. Uh, the one with the two on the end, that's obviously for reason 12 and above, and the other one's for uh, below reason 12. So combinator one, combinator two. So I'm just gonna grab this, grab in, and as usual, I'm gonna hold down my shift key as I create it, because it, I don't want it to wire up to anything, and it doesn't create a mixer channel either. So let's quickly uh, say, look at devices, and flip round to the back. And this is really where I now need to obviously take all these wires and put them into the top here. I'm going to delete this one out now because I don't need it so it doesn't confuse me. So now I'm going to take control of the actual combinator itself and now I'm going to use buttons and actually my tablet should be wired up so here we go so I should be able to go go from three to one 
to three, to one, to four, to two. There you go, and we can see we're jumping around. There's one little gotcha, and that's at the top, is you have to ignore what these buttons really are showing. So if I was to select one now, that's gonna go off, but this will come on. So it doesn't matter how many times you hit it. It's just the way it's, we're, we're tricking how this actually works, and that's the only gotcha. The only way around it would be if you happen to have radio buttons. Oh, as this is my controller, I can actually have proper radio buttons. And this is actually a codec file. I'm making a, creating a generic codec file, and hopefully I can roll this out for everyone to use. Oh, and the knob as well. I've, I set the knob up so you can do that. And obviously we've got ourselves our mono, mono buttons and all the rest of it. Obviously on the... Uh, the load reason 12, you've only got the four buttons. It's just mapped out to the first four um, references. And the knob is obviously mapped out to five of them. The tracks we're actually referencing to, they're actually all the same track. It's actually a very old track I wrote. It must have been about eight or nine years ago, probably closer to nine years ago. Um, I've got one which is a pre-master. It's going to go through the master bus. Um, we've, I've got one which, when Lander first came out, um, I, I really didn't get very good results with that, but I tried and tried and tried. This is probably the best result I got with that. I've got some, one I've done with my original Reason Mastering, and that's, so that's using a lot of M class and using a couple of uh, rack extensions. And this one here was using when Ozo and 8 come out. Obviously, I had to play around with that as well, so I've pulled that one in. And I just thought you may want to have a little listen to, to the difference. And I'm actually going to do one other little cheat um, because I can. And that other little cheat is at the moment, what I'm going to do is flip around to the back. I'm going to dewire my Ozone 11 and I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that into number five. So now when I, we hear number one, we're going to hear just the, the mix on its own. Two is going to actually be Reason, then it's going to be the Lander and then it's going to be Ozone 8. So these two actually sound very, 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 very similar. I think that's the order I've still got them in. Yeah, that's the order I've got them in. And then the fifth one's going to be obviously the Pre-Master going through Ozone. Now, I've literally only spent about a minute changing a couple of settings. I pulled down the EQ at the top end a little bit and I, I pulled back the limiter because one of the first things I noticed that the limiter did was it absolutely killed my dynamics. Um, I got around about 10 to 12 dB sort of dynamic range and it pulled it straight down to seven because obviously it was um, over compressing it. And so very, 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 very quickly, I'll quickly wire this up. I'm going to wire in my monitoring chain. So very straightforward case. All I'm going to need to do is I'm going to take this and split this. Whoops. See, this is why I always drop the right hand cable off first. And I'm going to take that. It's going to go back out to my output. So this is coming from uh, the reference and that's going to go over to my monitoring chain over here. Close that up. We should be able to get a few things on. Yeah, so there's my DB range. So I'm only going to play um, just a very, very small snippet. And the snippet I'm playing, it's, it's got a quiet bit and it goes into a loud bit so you can hear things going on. Uh, the main one that I remember with the lander when that kicks in, it muddied the bottom end up. I thought the Ozone 11 was interesting because I found there's a nice little sparkly sound and it makes it sound a little bit fake. It's a little bit too in your face so but as i said i haven't spent time with ozone 11 i've actually literally just plugged it in changed a couple of settings and i was quite impressed with the space i believe it's given me over the other ones so let's go ahead and let's uh, have a listen to the raw
many may have noticed, um, I, as I said, I pulled back that limiter to give me some more dynamic range back because it did actually really compress it down to start with. So I won't waffle too much more. I think that's there's that's all it, there is to it. Just remember, we're breaking that out. When we break that out, we actually break the lights up there. That's probably it, one of the only key points. Reference 5 in the shops is free. I'll put a link in the description. I'll put a link in the description where you can also go and download the combinator plates or the combinators. Um, and go and have some fun. Bye for now. Yeah.